Hey friends, Wayne up here at the Ram Man Inc. Uh, we got uh, Ron M's uh, complete Hemi setup, first class all the way. Looks like it's going on 70 Superbird. He needed a factory uh, manual firewall plate. Remember now, the Hemi unit was designed to bolt up to the factory manual plate. Doesn't matter whether it's a B or E body. They, this plate went on the firewall, B or E body, and then everything came. So you'd put a master cylinder or the Hemi brackets, or they substituted for the power plate, which had the round hole to fit the hub of the booster, because the booster bolted directly to the firewall. Enough of that. Uh, B-body brackets, there they are, compared to E-body brackets. Only difference is pedal link is one inch longer. This is a real nice Hemi unit that I did for them, like the other ones here. <laughs> December 2019 or so, in January, I have got seven Hemi units in-house. It is freaking crazy. Uh... Out of my collection, 9191 with correct lid, NOS gasket. Here she is. Most expensive master cylinder in the world. Uh, out of my private collection. Uh, we do sleeve all of our master cylinders going out, whether they're NOS or not. Anybody that's spending a thousand dollars or more on something like that would like it to last a while. On top of that, these high-end cars, Hemi, Superbirds, they sit a lot and they're not driven a lot, exacerbating the uh, problems, of course. So, there we go. Uh, boot goes on the back, retainer plate, Hemi units have a filter. I've included a boot right there to cover that rear hub and one to cover the front seal when you guys are finishing it to your liking. There she is, Ron. It's one of the nicest ones I've run across in a long time. I worked on it a little bit for you. She'll be ready for paint. And it'll be absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I believe this one has <clears throat> got some really smooth guts too. And works really well. These were all tested when they were built before we primed them and stuff. But I'm going to check him because he's getting ready to go in the box. Put some vacuum on him. Front push rod should always have resistance. Remember now, you know, the master cylinder's bolted up. So, oh yeah. You can see that right there. I'm just doing it with the palm of my hand. Just the palm of my hand. We got a whole bunch of power. Turn the vacuum off. We ought to have a little reserve built up in there. It ought to last for a little while. Get us one or two emergency brakes. That's why they use the big can for the Hemis that reserve capacity because they didn't make much vacuum street hemis. There's one. There's two. Uh, there's two and a half. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Well above specs. There you go, Ron. Your beautiful unit is getting ready to come to you, my friend. Gotta love it. God bless you. God bless America. And happy Moparin'.